My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hey everyone, we got a hot number for you right here. This car hits it and gets it. And I'm telling you that from personal experience. I took this thing out Sunday and I couldn't wait for a windy road. And then I couldn't wait for the straightaway. It's like driving a, a street race car is awesome. It's a 67 Mustang Fastback. It's got a 357 Cleveland Big Block with 404 horsepower and a dyno. It's got a five speed, it's got a posi, custom brakes, uh, the sub subframe connector is welded in, so it's set up to, to run and handle. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you get all the specs, the price, photos top to bottom of this car, and a few hundred other collector cars for sale. That's at volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you'll see these videos first as we put them out. Right now, though, join me. Let's go for a spin in this 67 Mustang. There's about 520 miles on a complete total ground up restoration of this car. When I say it's a race car, it's, uh, you can drive it. I mean, it was very streetable. It's got a fifth, uh, five speed in there. You put in the fifth gear, it cruises down the road, but it is set up to run and it, it did what it was supposed to. You tromp on it, that thing goes. I always felt safe. It, the steering was responsive. The brakes were spot on. The car just, handled great I, I absolutely love this car uh, after driving it it's not a bad looker either all new metal professionally done everything fits real nice I like those nice gaps everything's flush uh, all the body lines are real nice I don't see any issues anywhere with the paint it's all smooth there's no bubbles there's no cracks it's polished out like glass everywhere I look it's grabber blue and it is like glass on the sides they're clean no emblems i don't know if they had marker lights in 67 or not but it's just nice clean sides the stripes are painted on even right up over the roof they're smooth to the touch and just about all the trim is either blacked out and some of it's painted blue to match um, that's a functional Ram Air hood. I'll show you when I open the hood that goes right into the engine. Got a custom grill up front here, painted bumpers. They didn't replace the windshield. I don't know why, because they're not expensive. They did the whole car. I mean, I've got a binder with all the specs and receipts and information, and they put the old windshield back in. And there's some, some chips, and it's not cracked or broken, but there's some chips. If I were keeping this for myself, I would probably replace that eventually. It's got the bullet mirrors, really sharp looking set of Boyd Coddington wheels. I don't know if you can tell when it comes around how wide them back tires are. It's actually a mini tub. They had to move in the rear frame rails, relocate the uh, leaf spring perches, and they had to narrow the rear end four inches. You got some big tires. Their BF Goodrich G-Force are a nice sticky tire. It handles the road, grips the road really good. Everything back here again is you know painted either black or blue, done up real nice. These window louvers look sharp. Not everyone likes them. They're literally held on with sticky tape. I mean they're not going anywhere, but if you wanted them off, they can come off. Trunk compartment. Under the lid is painted, the jam's painted as nice as the car, new weather strip, the latch is detailed. Inside the trunk, it's just, it's all solid, rock solid metal. You got a Pioneer amp, but it's nothing pretty. Uh, I would probably, yeah, if I were keeping it, I'd probably put like a liner kit in the trunk. There's also a can of extra uh, paint. Door jams are done just as nice as the outside of the car. The latches are detailed, all new weather strips, new sill plates. I'm so excited about this car, I'm running out of breath talking about it. So that's a 351 Cleveland. It's bored to a 357. Uh, the heads have been ported and polished. It's all uh, comp uh, roller valve train. 
Got an Edelbrock intake, a giant Holly carb on top. Uh, this is a Ram Air air cleaner. It ma matches right up to the hole in the hood. See, it's got an electric choke, a brand new HEI ignition system with MSD wires, uh, finned aluminum valve covers, chrome alternator, uh, billet pulleys with the serpentine belt. It's got an aluminum radiator. As I drove it too, I was watching the gauges. This car had no hiccups. I come into work Monday morning, just bragged about it. This door is a little hard to open. The button is. Um, temperature held at like 170. Oil pressure was good. Uh, gauges functioned fine. Uh, it just did, like I said, what it was supposed to. All new, new door panels, new armrests. They blacked out the handles. You need the race seats. They're very comfortable, actually very easy to get in and out of. Uh, it does have the shoulder harness, real easy to put on, one buckle. I even had my 14-year-old uh, my daughter wanted to go for a ride, and she hopped in. She loves this car, too. She called me up the next day and said, Dad, bring home another fast car. She enjoyed the drive. Uh, but all new custom gauges. Everything on the dash is new. The dash pad, all the chrome bezels, all new gauges. It's got a stereo system. I plugged my phone in. I was listening to my music. It sounded great. Got kick panel speakers, six by nine speakers in back, and two big subwoofers all the way in the back. This is painted nice gloss blue. It does have a support bar welded in. They've welded in frame rails uh, connecting the front to the back. It just gives a more rigid, better handling, better cornering. So the front uh, factory frame rails are connected to the back, so it's almost like it has a frame. Uh, it's a brand new, not a used, but a new Tremec 5-speed trans. It's got a performance flywheel, uh, performance uh, clutch. All that's listed on our website. It's a hydraulic clutch. It's a Ford 9-inch rear ends, narrowed 4 inches with new 355 Posi gears in there. Uh, all new brakes. They're Willwood drilled and slotted discs up front. Uh, it's got a custom a fuel tank, so the fuel line, sending unit, that's all new. Gas gauge worked. Underneath the car is completely uh, solid metal. Uh, you know, the frame rails, torque boxes, all that's real nice, completely solid metal. And it's all been sprayed and painted real nice. Uh, bottom of the motor is still clean, has a chrome oil pan, new starter. I'm literally running out of breath. I'm, i got so much to say about this car. Fired up for you. This is a cold start. It hasn't been started since yesterday. Isn't that awesome? It's got blue dash lights, blue radio, blue LED interior lights, the headliner, visors, mirror is new. The back seat is reupholstered, uh, seat belts in the back, all the trim and back is new, really nice inside, new carpet. It's a MagnaFlow stainless steel exhaust system with the X-pipe in the middle. The mufflers are polished. I mean, this thing's just got, it's got it all going on. I drove it for a little while Sunday, and I grabbed my daughter, and we went back out and just drove all over the place. It, it was just, it did everything just right. It sounded right, accelerated right, handled, stopped right. Uh, it just, uh, it was a good time. Someone's going to really enjoy this car. It's like 520 miles on the complete ground up build. 
If you go to volocars.com, plenty of ways on there to contact us. We've got a whole staff of people that will answer questions, send you more pictures, more video, help you with financing, shipping, uh, however we can help you out. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you can see these amazing cars as they come out. I do appreciate everyone who's watching. Come back for more.